Bucks at Niners. Another double-digit spread. We have four double-digit spreads this week. Um, look ahead with San Francisco minus 10.5. It's bet up a little bit here, um, but obviously not hitting that key yet. Niners off the big blowout off the Jags, easily covered as a short road fade. Bucks, they did what they had to do, right? To face the Titans at home, small favorite. They covered there, won the game. Um, obviously a very different Niners team, guys, when you have Debo and Trent Williams back. It just, they look like they got the swag back. NFL teams, it's impossible to stay like this the whole season. San, San Francisco took a dip. Now they're back up. Um, do we put them back in that threshold that they were before the three-game losing streak, or do they still have some ground to make up, Chris? What do you mean by that? Had you docked them? I, I hadn't docked them very I, much I at all. I personally didn't, but I'm sure after losing three straight, some people did. I don't think very many people did, and and I think we saw last week why if, if you did, uh, you shouldn't have. So uh, San Francisco's the creme de la creme of the NFL as far as uh, my model shows and as far as my eyes show. So uh, the eyes and the model actually match. Uh, I want to be involved with this team. I think that they win this game hands down. Uh, earlier in the week, I was able to get involved with them at, uh, at pick them level, but at 12... I'm going to be on them with a three-team teaser. Ten, we're going to throw the ten pointers into play this week, okay. and I'm going to lay the two points with San Francisco, and I'm going to use the other two legs to get value on two underdogs, Minnesota and Philadelphia. You know, I'm kicking myself for not having played one of these ten-point teasers, which, frankly, my friends say. Do have value at times. I just haven't. You, you can't do everything. And when Miami went, was laying 12 and a half, 12 that was like half. the poster child of one you would have loved to have put in. I mean, too, too late now. Uh, I do want to. I'm going to disagree. Um, everybody severely downgraded the Niners. Um, and the best evidence I can give is that we we have a very short term memory here, Chris. Just last week, we had a slightly above average Jacksonville team catching only three against the 49ers. So obviously going to our time machine, that was, that was a ridiculous line um, because, you know, the 49ers absolutely, you know, boat raced them, but they only had to lay three. So it goes to show if you can find a dominant team that um, just happens to have losses when they miss field goals to win games like in Cleveland, you can get them at tremendous spots. And yes, I, indeed, I do agree directionally. Uh, Kansas City and San Francisco, the two best teams in the NFL right now. So if there was one of the double-digit favorites that would lose this week, Commanders, Dolphins, Cowboys, Niners, is there is is any any of these teams should we be concerned on upset alert? Oh, Washington could lose just because bad teams can screw it up, you know. So I think the Lions are I think the Lions are in a difficult spot this week. Yeah, I guess the Lions are kind of hovering in double-digit range. Maybe it gets probably not after the Fields news. But you would never use a 10-point teaser with a 10-point favorite. That did, never. I bore everyone with the math. It needs to be a 12-point yeah. favorite. That's the sweet spot. But if the do- – like, like let's say the Dolphins gets back to 13. It won't, but let's say that it does. Dolphins to three, Cowboys to one, Niners to two. Is that – No, because most books – under the three. Most books grade a tie as a loss on a 10-point teaser, so you can never tease to an integer. And, and my goodness, never onto a three of all things. Yeah. Yep. Okay, for There's sure. Answer. So the Dolphins are off the list because that ain't getting back to 12 and a half. No chance, no way. So uh, might have to find the value elsewhere. Uh, Chris is using a couple of dogs, which we'll get to uh, a little later in the show uh, for the other legs of his 10-point teaser. But the Niners should take care of business this week at home to the Bucks. 